Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be playing H1Z1 on PS4 because the open beta has been out for a while, um, for like a couple days, a week or something like that, but first, if my voice sounds weird at any time, that's because my voice is weird, I, my voice is weird, <laughs> my throat's all messed up, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, but, here's the thing about H1Z1. If, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I do believe it is the most original. I want to get rid of that. That was a hard one. Oh, okay, well, I can't. Um, I do believe this is one of the most original ones, right? Because there's that whole meme that, like, People sit like the developer of Player Unknown Battlegrounds is like, uh, oh yeah, we made this genre first. Battle Royales are is our game. We did that, uh, which isn't true, obviously. I, I don't even. I tried researching who the first game was, and I don't want to go with like a meme and say that it's Minecraft because I don't believe it's Minecraft. But, I feel like, to be honest, that's the closest I can get to remembering. And then H1Z1 was originally a zombie game. I'm gonna get some backstory before I play it. H1Z1 was originally a zombie survival game. They took the name of H1Z1, turned it into a battle royale game, and then their zombie survival game changed into a game we called Just Survive. Um, so that happened and for right now this game is PS4 and PC and then Xbox has player unknown battlegrounds I played pretty much every single one I played Fortnite I played Bach, I played PUBG I played H1Z1 um, and those are like the the three big AAA like popular ones then we've got like games like Radical Heights, which I think is awful. We're gonna jump in by the way. And stuff like that. So there are some more Battle Royale games coming out because people are going to milk this until it's dead. There's Black Ops 4 Battle Royale coming in October. And there's one that I don't know the release date for. But I genuinely, like, everyone's saying, oh, so-and-so Battle Royale is gonna beat, gonna beat Fortnite. And you know that's not true, because every single time, like, a Battle Royale's come out, like, after Fortnite, Fortnite's, like, lost a bunch of players for, like, one day. And then they all come back to Fortnite. Uh, before I have to, I have to announce something about this game before it starts, because... I don't want any of your views to be down on it if you haven't seen it before. But how it starts out is really weird. But this is the open beta, and I, they are going to make some changes, but at the same time... Like, I'm trying to defend it as much as possible because I really do enjoy this game, and that's why I'm trying to set up a defense for it. Um, but, so, people are all saying that Black Ops 4 Battle Royale is going to beat Fortnite, and in my opinion... And in everyone's opinion, they should know that there's no way that's going to happen. Fortnite's so big, has way too many players for everyone just to drop that and go to uh, Black Ops 4. I'm not saying Black Ops 4 is going to be bad. I mean, the Battle Royale at least. But as far as I'm concerned, I think the Battle Royale is... I think how the Battle Royale is going to work is either A, it becomes free at a later date, but for people who buy Black Ops 4, you can get it early. Because that's a thing Black Ops do Like, that's a thing Activision does. Or, it's gonna be, like, you have to own Black Ops 4 to play the Battle Royale. Because I don't believe it's gonna be standalone right away, and I don't believe it's gonna be free right away. I do believe they might make it free, but since it's active and you knew how to... Okay, so this is what I mean by... It starts out weird. Oh, shit. They put me in the worst place. Um, 
Huh. Okay, so, he, like, I don't, I don't. Uh, long story short, I don't think Black Ops Four is going to be even slightly good enough to beat, to beat Fortnite. But because there's no big new like news about this specific one, nobody talks about it. But I decided to shed some light on it. I'm deciding to shed some light on it in this video because if I can get people to know about this game, which I haven't seen much on, and... Okay, actually, I'm gonna explain this real quick, though. So, backpacks, there's, like, different rarities, and they let you... The regular backpack lets you carry three weapons, and then there's a, a bigger, like, a better backpack that lets you carry four, four weapons. I'll get into it later. Um, so... I haven't seen, like, anything on this game, and I just found out about it recently, but for those of you who played Dying Light, you know how much of a fantastic game that is, right? The parkour, the, just, like, the mechanics, you know? Uh... Okay. Just everything about... Block, I'm, ugh, just everything about, about Dying Light is, like, awesome. They've... They really made, like, a unique zombie game for once, right? So, taking that and just for perspective, to my knowledge, they are making a battle royale game called Dying Light Black Bad Blood. And this is what I was... Forget about the to my knowledge originally. This is what I was trying to say to my knowledge, too. To my knowledge, it's going to be PvE and PvP, which means, ow. <laughs> um, to my knowledge, oh wow, he had things. That's weird. Let me heal up a little bit. Um, so, <laughs> I keep saying to my knowledge. So, like, it's going to be PvP and PvE, which means that while you're fighting enemies, there's nothing stopping a, uh, a zombie to come up on both of you eat you, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like that. Does that make sense? I don't know why he didn't use his MP7. Okay, so, taking, I have seen, like, very early, like, playtest of it, which means that, and it was like, it was an IGN playtest, right? And if you don't know what that means, it basically means that the person that did the playtest, or whatever the name is, they were really bad, and they didn't do justice at what it is. But I recommend you look it up, because if you like... If you like Dying Light, then this is really interesting. It's... I haven't seen any rumors for it to be on console yet. Oh shit. Somebody just took the car that was over here. Huh. Fuck. So I haven't seen any rumors about it on console yet, but it's going into like a very, a really, really early playtest. If you go to their website, I'm really trying to promote this because I really think this could be like the one to save all. Um, if you go to their website, you can sign up and then you have a chance at playing the, uh, playing like the very early test of the game. So, I recommend this guy over there. Fuck you. Ow.
Alright, I thought I was... I thought I got myself into something I couldn't win, but... I don't know how I even got those shots, but yay! Uh, scout rifle, nothing... Alright, let's... Oh, I didn't have one to begin with. Nice! Um, let's use my bandages real quick. Okay, so I'm just trying to say, like, go sign up for the play test. Do I have more? Okay, cool. Because it looks really cool, and I think that could, I think that could be the game that, that, like, kicks all the other ones out, you know? Um, so yeah, go sign up for it, because it's PvP, PvE, and parkour, first person, dying light, like, I, I don't know, because I'm kind of in between if that sounds amazing, or if that sounds, like, too much. Because it's amazing, but it sounds overwhelming. But I'm excited for it. Alright. Um, back to this game. So, my thoughts on this game are that it needs a lot of changes. Um, it's actually, I've said this to one of my subs, so, uh, that... I actually really enjoy this game uh, more so than I enjoy Fortnite. Fortnite keeps adding in all this other stuff and I think people need to widen their spectrum and I was thinking about it last night. Obviously if you don't like a game you don't have to like a game. There's no forcing somebody to like a game right? But I think that you should leave it at the fact that, say, one person likes one battle royale and another person likes another battle royale. That makes sense. Because I've been seeing a lot of, oh, PUBG's dead. Uh, why are, uh, PUBG's awful now. Why are you playing that? Play Fortnite. Or people saying, oh, Fortnite's dead. Gonna, go, play, go play something else, you know? Some things like that. And I think we should just agree that everyone's taste in games are different. And that if you, if one person likes Fortnite, they can like Fortnite. Ah, his car's over there. Fuck. I personally like pretty much every game that I've played. <laughs> I, I, it, it takes me, it takes a lot for me to hate a game. Okay, right. um, so it, it takes me, it takes a lot for me to hate a game, like, I, what the f fuck? The f oh, I've actually, I've never gotten a sniper before, and I ha I don't like, okay, so, so these are all the other rarity things for people, for, for those of you who are like, oh, this game's boring, it doesn't have anything. Well, done. Oh shit. Let's get rid of this, grab me that. I really wish I didn't shoot his car, because now... I've got to do some explaining for you guys who've never played this game. Um, instead of talking about other games, but just... Yeah, okay, so... How cars work in this game is that... They have like nitros to make you go faster, um, and they have armor and gas, like, they have their own health bar, so they can explode, and if they're, they can flip over, but you can flip them back. Uh, but if you leave them flipped over, it will, it will explode, um, after a while. Is that more? No, that's, that's one. There you go. There's armor. Hell no. 
Fuck this shit, I'm in here now. What? The fuck? Am I good or are these people just bad? Okay, really dude, like honestly I can't tell. Look, he didn't land a shot. <laughs> okay, cool. His his had more stuff. Like more armor. Alright, so This game's fun, but it needs some changes. Yeah, okay, see. This game's fun, but it needs some changes. I think that sometimes the armor is a little bit too strong. Uh, it's not fair that he was able to do that, for example. Perfect timing on what I was about to talk about. I feel like, I mean, I get it, like you need it, but I feel like for the amount of damage your gun does, it, your the armor doesn't, like it's not fair, it's not that balanced. I think that needs to be... I think either guns need to, no, not guns need to do more damage, no, uh, they, weapons need, to, uh, not weapons, can I speak? Cool, <laughs> cool, that's what that guy had, okay, we're just, we're just gonna leave it there with my stuff, um, I think for, I forgot what place I have to do. I don't know. I think that the shield, the armor has to be less resilient. I think they have to go, like, I think it has to break sooner. Because how, it, I'm not confirmed on this, but how I think it works is that if you shoot somebody in the head and they've got a helmet on, they, the helmet will absorb that damage. If you shoot somebody in the chest and they've got a chest piece on, the chest piece will absorb that damage. But if you shoot somebody in the legs, to my knowledge, I think it will still do damage to them as a person. Instead of doing damage to... Yeah, you know what I mean? Also, I'm playing duos to do a challenge, so... Um, I think, for the most part, everything's fine. I think it's just, like, they need to add in more content, like... Character-wise, like, customization-wise. But... I think they do have stuff. I think I'm pretty sure the beta is just weird because they don't have like they don't have anything for either the sniper or the crossbow. But in I'm I'm pretty sure they have some stuff in. Uh, I'm really trying to do this. I just did it and then I jumped off. I just did it and I jumped off like an idiot. I hate myself. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in the, the PC version they actually have all the stuff on there already. Yeah, uh, I also think how it starts need to be changed because sometimes it drops you off in just a random place. And I, I don't know... I haven't looked too far into the PC version of this, but I don't, so I don't know if in the PC version they have like a bus that drops you out, or like a helicopter that drops you out or whatever, right? I don't know what they do, or if it's the same thing, but I feel like they should get around to adding that, because it just helps out a lot more on choosing where you land. So you actually like, so you know, you actually have a choice instead of just dropping, instead of it just dropping you off and then you either get dropped off on a good place or you drop get dropped off in like, the mountains. The circle moves fast and so it 
that's another thing. It always drops you off in the circle, right? Or like, like in see the part that's not green, like covered in green smoke. It always drops you off in that facility, like that general vicinity, and that's like, oh yeah, that's cool and all. Only have a crossbow. Nice. Oh, my helmet's different. Fun. Like that's cool, but not. <laughs> it um. Backpack. Really? It's cool, but then it, it doesn't. That's what the other battle royale games do better, where they uh. They give you a choice on where to land, and you could land like three decades outside of the the circle, and then make your way back in and push back in. But this game, it's just like, no, we're gonna land you in the circle, so you kill more people and stuff. <laughs> like, cool. Sure. But I do think they should change that up. Because I think if they changed it up just a little bit and made it like the other ones, even though I feel like they don't want to. Is that a car? Yeah, so I, I feel like they don't want to copy others, but I think if they did, it would be cool. Um, I'm not- I haven't played too much with friends, so I'm not sure how the game works yet. Um, I played a single match with one of my friends, one of my good friends, and we nearly won. We, we were fighting the last person in duos, and he sniped us both, but I'm not sure if there's a revive system, because I've seen things. Also, Magnum is my favorite weapon, so I'm going to take that for any of you wondering why I just took that. Um, so, I've seen things like where people are, where people, uh, like I've seen a revive system in the sense that there's, there was an arcade mode on PC called Revive 5. And I don't know what that was because I didn't look into it. <laughs> but, because I was just trying to figure out if there was a revive system, and to my knowledge, there is, there is, I think, I'm not 100% on that though, because there's, I don't know, it's weird, I gotta get a car, um, I cannot speak. But, I, to my knowledge, like, how the revive sister system works. I'm, I'm sorry, I pause because I say to my knowledge a lot. At least I'm not saying like a lot. Am I? I don't know. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, but, it works where if you get shot anywhere, you'll be okay. Except if you get headshotted, then you're dead immediately. And I also think that if you get exploded, that you die immediately. But, see, I'm saying all this, but at the same time, I also don't know how correct I am. Alright. So I'm gonna try to get into, like, the top, like, ten people. <laughs> Because I, I really want to show you guys, um, I have one, but I don't know if there's stats, I can check out this map. I really want to show a big problem with this game, and that's cars. Cars work fine, if they're cool, but the final game, like, the final couple circles, there's, everybody's using cars. I think they should make a weird change where, like, a really weird, illogical change, where in the last couple of circles, they 
they're like, oh, get out of your car, it's gonna, their, their car is going to explode, and then five, four, like ten, nine, eight, seven, six, you know what I mean? To, to get people using their weapons instead of their cars. Uh, I The game that I won, nobody was using cars, because all the cars were gone. And all the cars have been blown up by like these two guys. And that was really fun, because it was more of like, am, am I going to get killed? Or am I gonna kill the person? Not am I gonna get run over and not have a chance? Or blah blah blah. Um, so I really would like less cars because of that. Just because in the final like 20 people, wait, how do I get inside? Okay, and in, like in the final 20 people. There's just a bunch of people running around, like, driving around, and you're just sitting there like, okay, do I just sit here? <laughs> because there's just, it, there's just, it, everyone's using cars, until it's you and one other or two other people. Nobody uses cars anymore because it's too obvious. But the tactic with the cars is drive around, and either try to hit somebody when you when you see somebody or when somebody's out of the car you just like r drive fast towards them you jump out your car still hits them and then you shoot them and then you get back in your car and drive away <laughs> that's re literally the tactic and I'm gonna try to see if I can show you that um, so I also didn't explain how the, the like the airdrops work there are three rarities There anybody here? I don't think anyone's gonna be this close to the circle. There are three rarities. This is like this purplish, violet, blue. There's. All right, goodbye, Magnum. I always keep the magnum until I find like two purples. Uh, there's this like it's blue. The light in the sky is blue, but the guns are purple, so I just call it violet. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Quads are bad, by the way. So there's this violet. There's this green, and then there's the regular boring ones that don't drop from the sky all like you just find them randomly sometimes they're kind of rare though and i think they're i think they're their drop rate or their spawn rate more likely or uh, they need to be higher because i've only found like three <laughs> in like the 10 hours that i've spent on this game already so that's the problem then then there's orange, which is, because of game logic, the best one. And orange gets you the best stuff. I don't remember an example of that. Actually, yes, I do. An LMG. So, this game's like Fortnite in the sense that there are, like, that, there are different weapons for the rarities. You're not gonna find, like, in Fortnite, you're not gonna find a legendary pump shotgun because there is no such thing. But you will find a legendary heavy shotgun. See what I'm picking? You, you put picking up and put down. You're not gonna find a green shotgun in this, a green riot shotgun in this game. But you will find, uh, you will find a green combat shotgun which is mainly only in chests. You won't find that anywhere else. Which I do like the aspect of having to go to the airdrops to actually get anything good. Because that means that people can't just get a bunch of good stuff from doing nothing. Uh, they get the bottom of the barrel and if they want better stuff they have to stop being wusses and they have to go for the airdrops. Which is really cool because it pushes people together. Especially near the end, everyone's trying to get the legendary loot, uh, airdrops. But 
Since everybody, like literally everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Wow. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. I mean, it's just a cop car. I'm, I'm out of here. Leave me alone. I don't want to hurt you. You don't want to hurt me. Where'd he go? Alright, well I said I was gonna go to one of these. Oh, he's over there. Everyone goes towards this one. Cause this is the big one. Ha! Uh, well, what, you wanna do something? Of course I don't have my shotgun. Why did it do that? I... <laughs> Every single time, man. That's not fair. That's not, that's not fair. Every single time. Literally every single time, no, that's not even an un understatement. I get out of the car, and it always gives me my first weapon that I chose, like the first weapon in the slot, which is annoying, because sometimes I need the shotgun. Um, okay, that's about it. Sorry if that was repetitive. I'm going to stream in like an hour or two.